Hi, I'm Morgan, and this is the 1000 Scenes Project, and improviser number 42 of 1000 is Michael Tannenbaum. Hello, Michael. Hi, Morgan. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing I'm, great. I'm, 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 ask I'm, number 40, I'm number 42? You're number 42. Oh, like Jackie Robinson's number. Oh, okay. I was about to ask if you're enough of a geek to know that that's the meaning of life from the Hitchhiker's I was also going to say that, or... but it's also the... No other baseball player can have the number 42 because of Jackie Robinson. I should probably know that. It's funny that that, like, I don't know. It's like sports versus science fiction. I don't know. It's a great, yeah. like, maybe that number is the thing that could merge them together. That, that could be, like, the sort of oh. singularity of, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, someday. Someday. Uh, for now, this is a singularity of improv, yep. and uh, our suggestion will be randomly generated. And it is error, E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, error. Thank you, error. I just, I thought I, I thought I aced the test, so I didn't really understand why, why I failed it. Well, you didn't fill in the bubbles completely. Yeah, well, not all the questions were quite as black and white as they were thinking they were, or you were thinking that they were. Yes, I understand that people people question standardized testing all the time. So what you're doing is very natural. You know, I don't want you to feel that you're coming from a bad place. Standardized yeah. tests are very controversial. They're very controversial. For good reason, because, I mean, it's how many questions in life can be narrowed down to four or five specific answers very few, very few. Right. And also the questions that were asked can also depend on your background. Um, these tests are meant to be against you, you know, no matter where you're from. So certain questions are going to be meant for certain people to be harder than. It's just standardized testing. They're trying to, they're trying to categorize you. Oh. Like, like, let's look at question numbers. Let's look at question 16. Okay. Where, where the question was... You know, if the train is leaving Cleveland and heading to Chicago at 2 o'clock and it's 200 miles away, going an average rate of 50 miles an hour, how long will it take to get there? Right, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you wrote in, I, I would just take a plane because I can afford that right. as a white male. Yeah, that's not... that's not really what the question was asking. Well, that's my answer to the question. I mean... You can't and ask a question and, and just, want a, just want a specific answer. What's the purpose of the interaction? Why even ask me if you know what answer you want? I gave the answer that's truthful for me. I just, I just feel like, and this is, I'm sorry to say this, Dr. Hansen, you should not, you should not be teaching high school. This is a very important time for young minds, and I just feel like I just feel like you are not qualified to be a high school teacher. I'm sorry to be insulting, but Dr. Hansen, we need to get somebody else in here. If that's if that's how you feel, Richard, that's that's I I feel that what I'm trying to I'm trying to describe to you why you didn't do well on this standardized test because you, you brought it from your own personal perspective instead of treating it like a standardized test. Right, and again, you, this, even the language you're using, you, you did not do well on this test. I aced this test. The, taste, the test might have failed me. That, I think that's just because you're coming from a background of a world where you as a white male believe that, that, you have always, that you'll always do great and that anything that comes wrong to you is because of the outside world and that's not true. You didn't do Wait, well. Weird. Everything was. I, mean, I was agreeing with everything you said until that's not true. I know. I know. It's. it's I'm not. A, I'm not just a white male. I'm. I'm a wealthy white male. Oh no no no! You have made that very clear in this test about your status. You know, monetarily. I right. Mean, I did even did the totally optional breakdown that I added at the end, where I just wrote a couple paragraphs describing my place in the world, that, apropos yeah, of none yeah. of the questions. Yeah, 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 you created your, like, there was the essay question that, like, was asked of everyone, like, say what inspires you every day, and, I mean, you just, like, wrote some, you know, you just, like, wrote out, like, your parents' inheritance that you're looking forward to, and, like, 
how you're inspired for their death to like take over their money. I'm very excited for my parents to die, and all of their money will go to me when that happens. I think that's yeah, I don't, pretty and, and the reason, universal, isn't it? Okay. No, I don't think that's universal. And then separate death from that... Death is a constant, sir. Death is a constant. Con death is a constant. But then separate from that essay question, you wrote in your own essay question, which was really just like... It wasn't really an essay. It's more of just like a list of things you plan to buy with that money. So, yeah, I don't think, you know... I was just expanding upon the theme that I'd already established. It was on a page where they said this is only for the person, like this was only for like the test score. Don't write in this section. You uh, only wrote in a section. They said don't write anything. You could why have a section if you don't want it to be written in? Again, the design of these tests is just so beneath me. As a wealthy, as a young, wealthy, white male. Blackout. Excellent. Oh, Excellent. I yeah. No, I think it, I couldn't tell whether the camera went on the blackout or not, or whether. And sorry, I think my internet cut out for a second, where it signed me out, and then I had to sign back in. It did, but the audience, if they don't watch this part, will never know. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I stopped. No, it's just bit. like in live improv when you know the internet cuts out. Exactly. It's just it's just like live improv. Uh, no, I love this man. I live improv. But, for the viewers out there, if you're still recording, or just for you, Morgan, I think this is fucking super cool. I Thank really you very much. I hope you get to a thousand. The goal is a thousand for the year, right? It will be achieved. It will be achieved. I believe. I believe. I man, I fucking want this to happen so bad. I think this is very thank cool. You. Well, thank you for helping, uh, helping along the way. Hi, man. Uh, I'm number sense. forty-two. I'm the I'm the singularity that will bring that's going to bring it all together. Exactly. Yes. Uh, w is there anything I can plug for you in the description of the video? Yes, you can go to UCB Comedy, uh, the YouTube channel, and you can look up videos done by Goldwater, which is my UCB digital team. We do short films. I'm very proud of them. And uh, audience, I hope you check them out. Excellent. I'll put a link to that in the video description. Thank you, Morgan. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Michael. Yeah. And I'm sure I'll see you soon in the, in the world of improv. Uh, if I'm still doing the physical world, yeah, then we'll be <laughs> yeah, if you, I'm in yeah. transition. So. I, I, I hope. Hey, man, I saw you yesterday. I think I'll see you again. Okay, that'll probably happen. That's fair. Take care. Take care, buddy.